this piece of artwork I just came across in Baltimore while doing my mural tour and it is beautiful seriously it represents the exact reason like why I've really connected with art I'd have to say that um, prior to this class honestly I never really paid attention to it I would have never even like turned my head at murals um, or really even understood like the importance behind art but truthfully with this class I've really grown to love Banksy in particular because he is somebody who really promotes um, like positivity and peace between people and freedom and that is exactly why that is one of my favorite <laughs> seriously it's so cute um so yeah i would like to say that i'm nervous making videos i don't do well whenever i'm like put on the spot to record but uh, I definitely wanted to make this video uh, with that background because that was one of my favorites that I've come across so far. Um, let's see. Something else that I'll talk about is the experience and how I process my recreations. I'd have to say at the beginning, whenever we were told on how to do the recreations, I really thought that it would be something like, oh, I would just do by myself. You know what I mean? It'd be something quick and easy. Um, but then as the time went on and the weeks went by, I realized that like more people in my family became involved. Like my fiance was involved with me and we were able to make like some really cool recreations. And <clears throat> as I was making them, I was able to connect with the art on a personal level and really choose the recreations based on things that I truly believe in, which is peace among people and positivity instead of negativity between everybody. Um, and that was definitely something that I wanted to focus on when choosing the recreations that I wanted to make. So it's been an amazing experience so far, and I'm really, really thankful to be in this class. Before doing recreations, I only looked at art as something that was beautiful, like just something to look at. But after doing these artist recreations, I've started to take in art, not just from the perspective of a viewer, but as the artist and the art. And it has shown me that I'm very much capable of doing art in any medium. Art can have so many meanings. It can help people. It can help me. It could just, it tells a beautiful story of the world around us. Hi, Art 106. Uh, so I'm outside on, where am I? 
I'm on Fawn Street. I'm right out actually behind my house in Little Italy on the side of one of my favorite restaurants in Little Italy, La Tavola. And um, one of the things about Art 106 that's uh, got me kind of noticing is all the art that's in my own community that I sort of subliminally noticed and never really stopped to take a look at. But I think uh, what's cool about the art on the restaurants is, is like, this is the way it used to be done. You know, Baltimore is an old historical neighborhood. So this is the way it used to, people used to advertise their businesses. They used to hire a local artist and uh, put it up on their real estate versus like calling Kinko's or something like that. So I'm actually gonna turn my camera around and right next to it, maybe I'm turning my camera around. No, I'm not. So there's the mural. And right next to it is this beautiful mural, which uh, Germano actually owns this. Germano, and I think he's turning this into a gallery, but I'm actually not quite sure who painted this, but I'm gonna pop my head in there and find out. But like I said, this is sort of one of the things that, that I started noticing in my community. Here's two beautiful murals, literally, on the building where I live. And if we walk over here, now I'm on the corner of Moe's Seafood. And I always thought this was cool too. I don't know if you can see it. It says the world, the world is my oyster. So that's on the corner of Moe's Seafood. So literally in the parking lot of Little Italy and uh, we got three murals in 30 seconds. So this is my uh, quick art walk. But like I said, it's one of the things that this class just sort of uh, helped me recognize is like to open my eyes and pay attention to what's in my community. Bye guys. So today I'm going to be talking about my experiences in art. I never previously was involved in art that much. I never really thought about it until I took a art history class, I think it was fall 2019. And it just made me think of art in a very different way than I used to think. I remember I would always see art and the way people would talk about it in movies or whatnot and it sounded like something I didn't understand or was very pretentious or I just really thought there was a certain something that I had to understand in order to know, know art. Uh, but with Professor Long's class, I realized that art is an individual experience. It's something that is personal and it's a quiet experience almost. And it's what you see and think and experience once you walk up to a piece of art and just look at it. And it's what your mind processes and it could be anything and it doesn't necessarily have to have a very definitive meaning or an objective one. I also want to quickly talk about my processes making my recreations. So making my recreations was very fun, sometimes a little stressful, but it helped me become so creative. It got the creative juices flowing. I was doing things that I had never done before. Like I, for my Brian Minolfi re recreation, I was sitting there with fabric and cutting out things like a sewing pattern. I'm like, I never done this before. Uh, and there was just always very funny outtakes and sometimes just snap of the moment inspiration, especially when my week two, I believe was, with the uh, mosaic, I was just like, I'm just gonna throw some shirts on the floor and that's what it's gonna be. It's all been a very, very fun process and been entertained so much every single week. And yeah, I think that's it. Hello, so my name is Ashanti Jaros and 
My favorite recreation, I would say, would be the superhero recreation because I felt as though it made us think inside of ourselves to make us think what superpower will we have and what will we do with it. So I chose my superpower will be to have like a water element. And I got the idea from Elsa and Asha from Finks. And basically I chose that because it, it basically represented me because I'm a Pisces and I feel as though that as Elsa, she has this ice and water element, whereas though her emotions can sometimes get in the way of her powers, whereas though she's being too emotional, she can, her, her powers basically can erupt or explode if she doesn't handle the situation correctly. So that was really fun. Um, I also chose the colors that I did, which was like an iridescent blues, purples, um, because that represented who I am and the colors I love. And they represented Elsa, which is, I wouldn't say really she's a super, well, no, she's a superhero to me. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. Overall, this class has been really fun and interesting. I enjoyed all of the recreations we did. I enjoyed looking at my peers' recreations and um, I'm happy that I actually did this class over because it's my second time. And I think this time around, it was very beneficial and very needed for my artistic ability and growth. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kelly King. I am a current student at Baltimore City Community College, and I am in Professor Payne's Art 106, Art in the Culture. And I must say it has been an incredible experience being part of this class, being able to do the recreations, and seeing the beauty that there is everywhere. Um, here, I'm at work, if you can't tell, and this is like a little garden, if you will. And right behind me is actually the original entrance to the hospital that I work at. That's already been closed down. And some things that I really love was being able to look and teach people about a different aspect of culture, because I'm, I'm Native American and bringing insight to something that not everyone is exposed to. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and I'm a student of Art 106, Art and the Culture. My overall experience with my art recreations was eye-opening. I'm a performing arts major and honestly, I didn't care too much about the visual arts. It wasn't until we started our projects on artivism, which is art activism by artists, that I felt the impact of an artist's message and emotions, but in the form of something that I could see instead of what I heard. One of my favorite recreations was from Christine Sun Kim, whose art focuses on the deaf community. What I like about her art is that you have to be in the know in order to understand it. The deaf are often excluded in everyday life, so she makes her art exclude the hearing by using certain American Sign Language symbols and music signs to describe sound or even the lack thereof. Having said that, I hope that by the end of the semester, I'll have an even better appreciation of all forms of art so I can express my emotions just as beautifully as these artists. Hello, my name is Betsaida Amaya, and I'm going to be talking about my favorite recreation so far throughout this class. My favorite recreation so far is the one that we did uh, from the artist Ryan Maynoffley. The character that I recreated is named Esmeralda from the movie The Hunchback of Notre Dame. This recreation is my favorite one and special because it took me out of my comfort zone um, because I had to do um, a little bit of makeup and wear earrings which are way out of my comfort zone. I never done that like, um, daily or something like that. But the reason I chose this character is because she is, a, she is a fearless and passionate woman who cares about her people, uh, about her religion and God. And she really inspired me to be brave. And that's why I chose her to recreate this. It was really fun to do the makeup and all of the, like, the preparation. Of, um, trying to really take the picture and really compare it to each other or like really um, prepare myself like my face and all my makeup to really look like her and it really ch challenged me like I said out of my comfort zone and that is why it was so special to me and that is why um, this character was my favorite recreation so far.
Hello, I'm Dr. Schroeder Cherry. I'm an artist and museum educator based in Baltimore, Maryland. Professor Payne shared with me some examples of work that you completed in our class, and I just wanted to say congratulations on a job well done. For those of you that want to go on and be professional artists, this is a great time for you to explore what that experience meant to you and keep exploring, just do wonderful things. For those of you that do not intend to go on and be professional artists, use this experience to remember what it meant for you to try something new. And maybe you went outside your normal boundaries. How did that feel? It's all about exploring the world. That's what art helps us to do and to make better sense of the world. So whether you are going to be a professional artist or something else, take that experience and use it. I wish you well with your future endeavors. Good luck. Congratulations, everyone, on completing a successful year in your art classes. I just want to wish you all the best in your artistic future endeavors. And let me just say, you know, be original. Don't try to copy others. You are unique, and so is the artistic ability that you have been blessed with and possess. So be original, do you, and just know that there is someone waiting for the art that you have to offer the world. Hey, BCC Visual Art students, this is Mayor Scott. I want to take a moment to congratulate you on a job well done for your accomplishments during the 2021 semester. I am a proud supporter of each and every one of you and will stand by you as you continue your self-expression and talent through visual arts. We know that Baltimore is the home of many artistic greats and it is an honor to recognize you as one of them. Keep up the good work.